Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use physics constraints. And I'm going to make it so a chandelier with a light attached to it can swing and then, then drop down after the, afterwards. So, I'll show you what that will look like. Here's basic physics constraints. And same thing applied with this one, but I have it fall off the edge and then that's it. Um, so let's show you how that happens. First of all, I'm going to go add new blueprint class. Just do actor. And we'll just call it whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to add what I need in here. I'm going to add static mesh. And call this the chandelier. And add a cube and just call this the anchor. Um, you want to drag this up here and press attach so they're not parented to each other. And then move, um, well actually, go back to your static mesh thing before you move on and then under static mesh here we got to tell it what to be. So I'm using the table that comes with the starter content. So when you make a project it'll ask if not you can always go here, add new, content pack and the starter contents right there anyway so I will separate these guys and add a physics constraint and put that about halfway halfway down depending on where you want the swing like it should be in the middle of your swing you can connect multiple ones, but uh, for now I'm just going to do one. So, under, let's see, physics constraint, so oh, right here, so here you're going to say what it's constrained to. So component one is going to be the anchor, which is the name I gave it right here. So component one, anchor. Component two, I called it chandelier. And you can see the the red line to the blue line shows that the physics constraint is working. Um, and then you can drag that in and see if it works. So it doesn't work, that's because we need to set um, the physics on the swinging object, in my case the chandelier, you gotta turn on physics for it. Compile it, and let's try. Okay, it's a bit crazy. Um, that can be fixed pretty easily, a bunch of different ways, but the easiest way is to go ahead and um, turn on the mass for this object and give it a bigger number like a thousand just makes it heavier so it wouldn't swing as far there we go okay, pretty easy um, and then I'm gonna add just to make it look pretty I will add a cable and move the cable up to where you want it to be Um, and then we're going to have attach to start is where it's starting. Attach to end, we'll have to tell it to attach to the chandelier. Shoot, I forgot to flip this thing over. Um, and you'll have to, let's see, you have to hit compile, and also you're going to have to uh, the end location is always set to 100, so put that to zero and it should line up. Let's see. So that guy swings pretty good. Um, you can set all the different settings for the physics constraints in here. You can lock... Um, how far it can swing, you can set dampening, all kinds of good stuff on there. But I'm not going to dig into that. 
Um, the last thing I'll do, just because a student asked me, this isn't really ideal, but it does work to some extent. Um, so we wanted to make it so and when you shoot the, the chandelier, it'll swing and then fall off. Um, there's a million ways to do this. Probably the easiest way is just to click the chandelier and then go to on component hit, which is this first little plus sign here. Go over to the event graph and we're going to say on component hit. Um, break constraints. So that'll break it immediately. Um, you can set, well, let's So it is not constrained anymore, it's just flopping around. It is still attached, however, by this cable, which is strange. Um, and that happens immediately. So you can just hold D and click, or you can right click and type in delay. Either way. I gave it about two seconds, that's up to you. Connect that, and then break the constraint. So you can see now it'll swing for a while after two seconds it'll fall down but it's still attached to this thing we can also get rid of that this isn't the most elegant way um, there are better uh, ways to do this they're just a little bit more complicated but for our purposes we can do um, on the cable we need to change the end the what it attaches to at the end So we can say set attach end to cable and just connect these guys. So it'll basically attach it to nothing and just break that link. So we got it swinging and then two seconds later, see I said that's the reason it's not ideal is the, it just uh, resets itself in the middle. You could solve this a number of ways, but I'll leave that up to you. Um, that's it as far as con physical constraints are concerned and um, triggering breaking them and triggering how to break the cables. Um, one last thing to make this an actual chandelier is if you wanted to add a light to it, you can just add a... I'd probably do a spotlight and rotate it down. Uh, move it down, and now you have a spotlight. There, which I accidentally walked into it. Doesn't look too bad if it doesn't swing a whole a whole lot. If it just swings a bit and it breaks off, not a big deal. Um, you do need to parent the spotlight to the chandelier though, if you want that to stay connected. That way, when the chandelier falls off, the light moves with it and everything. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, I can make it a little more reactive in the future if you'd like, but um, that's it for physics constraints. Thanks.